fellow history hoppers. <laughs> this morning, when we were brainstorming, our group started to get hungry. I could tell this because we were starting writing on our post-it notes, things like fishing, baking bread, food, big hint. And then we went and had the delicious lunch. It was fantastic. Thank you very much. And we came back from lunch. We looked at the post-it notes that said food, and we realized something. We realized you can learn about culture through food. It's an everyday item. Everyone used it. It's very common. And so we chose to learn about Viking culture through food. Our proposal is a cell phone app. And you, our example would be outside of Trelleborgen and down to the harbor in Trelleborgen. Now the cell phone app, they can download it, the children or the grandparents even, and you're gonna follow it and along the way you're going to look for ingredients, utensils and tools. So they're going to be learning about how Vikings procured their food and how they prepared it and what they ate, all their ingredients. Then you're going to say, what do they get for it? There has to be a reward. The reward, when you follow the app and you collect all these ingredients and tools and utensils, are more than one. First, you will be able to unlock recipes, Viking recipes. We had one young boy who was so excited, he wanted to already have the recipes. He didn't have them. So the next thing you can unlock are stories. We're going to have stories about the Viking food and the places that are already recorded that when you found a certain number of ingredients, you unlock it. Now you can play this game more than once because at each time you'll be able to unlock more recipes and more stories. Now I'm gonna look at my notes, so. Okay, there's a map on the digital one. There's the, there's the map. It's going to have these areas and within each area, there will also be clues which have different difficulty levels. So you can choose yourself if you want an easy, medium, or difficult clue within the area. You can also get the map on paper. Now what's really important for us is that we wanted to tie this into the museum, not just walking around in Trelleboy and looking for food. No one laughed, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, the way, there's a couple ways we want to tie it into the museum. One is another thing you can unlock. You can unlock, by finding your ingredients, a coupon for this great idea we had. We call it Picnic with a Past. And it's a picnic basket they can sell at Trelleborgen with Viking food in it. Yeah, and actually the adults who came were really excited. They were like, wow, yeah, a coupon. You want to buy this picnic basket of Viking food, and then they can go sit. And one of the men actually said, wow, we can go sit in Trelleboy with the picnic basket and then listen to the stories that we have unlocked. <laughs> it's important that the stories are downloadable and so that you can listen to it either during your walk or later at home. One of the families said they were going to listen to the stories as bedtime stories. The other way we want to connect with the museum is that if, when you're out walking around, you somehow don't find the blueberries, and you really, really want to find that, that you could go into the museum and do a challenge. An actual physical bow and arrow, you could throw the ax, and then you could get them to release that missing ingredient. Our idea is this, it ties the museum, it helps with curiosity, maybe it gets them to try the picnic basket, to come and see more exhibits, but mostly we believe that this is good for the generations to spend time together and they can learn about Viking culture through food. Thank you. Thank you, thank you uh, so, so much. Um, and we have the mic here and we have maybe a team that haven't presented yet that can be a little bit ready. Yeah, so it's, I'm having some technical difficulties finding if there's a, is the, which group is it that hasn't presented yet? But you have your, you have your presentation yeah, on your computer. Yeah, cool. that's, that's why we don't find you. That's cool. why we're really, Yeah, thank you. Okay, so.
thank you for the presentation. I think it was extremely exciting. And I like this part that you uh, uh, make it possible through this game or this uh, application to connect with the museums. I like that part a lot, really. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think we, we have to, to really think about this idea. It's nice with the food and, well, a um, bit difficult, perhaps, um, some of the things. Um, blueberries, <laughs> trying to walk well. <laughs> um, Digital <but> blueberries. <laughs> OK. Um, fun. I'm glad you haven't asked me for recipes. That was the hardest part. I have none. We seem to have time for one more. So I, I, I also agree that, that it, it, it's a brilliant idea about having having you know tracking food in in Trelleborg. <laughs> having, having, having been working in Trelleborg, I would like one of those applications. <laughs> um, and I also think that this is a, this is a very good example of of having interaction, which is not aimed to to. Uh, see or learn or understand something about the past. It's about the present, you know? You need to get home to, to get your bedtime story, so you need to get to home to the kitchen to, to start to cook. Uh, although I've been eating Viking Age food, and it's, <laughs> it's not that delicious. <laughs> okay, thank you.